Saturday night in Detroit, in a game between the Red Wings and the Vancouver Canucks, Canucks forward Connor Garland was penalized for an illegal check to the head on Wings forward Philip Sedina. This is a tough one until you realize the penalty isn't called illegal reverse hit. It doesn't exist. Stop using that term. A reverse hit is just a body check like any other. One player delivers a check, another player receives it. End of story. Stop confusing things. Garland checked Zadina. Did he do it legally or not? That's the only question. So now that we realize this is just a normal check, it's a lot easier to figure out. First off, Zadina does almost get a stick on the puck and clear it away. He's right to lean over that far to make a play on the puck. As a hockey play choice, it's predictable and makes sense. Of course, he's still eligible for contact, but remember, like any other checker, Garland is in full control of this situation. He needs to make the contact as safely as possible, especially with his across-the-body angle of approach to a vulnerable player. And that's the key. Garland doesn't just brace to defend his space and let Zadina skate into him. At the last moment, he turns his blades back into Zadina's space and rotates his body around to fling his back into Zadina. It's a mini explosion. It wasn't a reverse hit, it was an illegal check by Garland. Period. And this check was initiated at this moment, after it was clear Zadina was vulnerable. I'm not saying this is the worst thing in the world. I'm not saying I'd do a whole lot different in the same situation. All I'm saying is it's more a case of Garland projecting himself into Zadina than it is Zadina simply skating into Garland's back. It's a penalty.